Hey everyone, welcome to the weekend. I'm Tali Carr, HBCU Game Day Studios in Atlanta. The big news is coming out of Louisiana on a Friday. Wasn't the best kept secret in the world, but it is now official. Hugh Jackson is the head coach, the new head football coach at Grambling State University. Now, Hugh has a big NFL resume. He was the head coach of the then Oakland Raiders. He was the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. Most recently, he was offensive coordinator at Tennessee State University, and now he seems to be entrenched in the college game, announced on Friday morning as the head coach of Grambling State University. Well, I think the landscape's changing. You know, obviously, um, you mentioned uh, Eddie George and Dion. They're doing a great job in their prospective places. Uh, we want to do the same here and do it even better. And I think... Uh, why not HBCUs? Why would you not come here and have an opportunity to play some of the greatest football that I think is still being played anywhere? You know, I know everybody talk about the Power Fives, but there's nothing like HBCU football. Now, earlier in the season, it was actually late in the season, just before the Bayou Classic, Grambling parted ways with Broderick Fobbs, a Grambling man himself who had been there for several seasons and really turned the program around from where it was when he started, but the last couple of seasons had been trending uh, not in the direction that Grambling and their administration wanted, so they let go of Fobbs. Terrence Graves comes in and wins the Bayou Classic as the interim coach. But now, on Friday, the big news, Hugh Jackson, that NFL pedigree coming over from Tennessee State, is the new head coach at Grambling State University. The first thing I want to bring to Grambling State here in my first year is a winning environment and a winning football team. So I want to go back a little bit, and I know I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about this, but Coach Robinson and that family, I, what, they, what they've done here, if I can just be a little bit of what he did here at Grambling. Now, I don't have uh, 56 years left in me, you know, maybe not 408 victories, but I guarantee you we're going to start trying to, to scratch some victories as fast as we can. And, and with that being the first thing you want to do, what kind of goes into that? Because you have a lot of success in the college ranks. Mm -hmm. I was kind of mentioned all the different players you recruited. So what kind of goes into kind of growing that environment here? Well, the first thing you do to grow that environment, you got to have the right staff. It starts with the staff that we're going to put together. And then it starts by get, our staff getting to know our players. And not just getting to know our players as football players, but getting to know our players as people and understanding how we can impact them and add value to them as coaches and be real leaders in their lives. And then with all the coaches, excuse me, with all the players that you've coached in the past, um, you mentioned Carson Palmer, Ocho Cinco, um, is there any way to kind of use them as recruiting help to kind of- Oh, absolutely. Now they can't get on the phone. There's rules. <laughs> there's rules we can't break, but there's no question that those guys, there's, I, I know for a fact that they'll do anything that they can do within the rules uh, to help Grambling get to where it needs to be from a player standpoint. What do players want? What do all players want? They all have a dream of making it to the NFL, or at least the majority of them, right? So when you look at recruiting, if you have a man sitting in your living room, talking to your child, talking to that student athlete, and you can just instantly have that name recall, oh, you were the coach of the Browns. Oh, you coached the Raiders. That's got to help in recruiting, right? You would think. But I know you guys have thoughts. Grambling is a traditional brand, right? Do they think more, I don't want to say conservative, but do, do they stick with a Grambling man? Do they not follow the trends of other schools? There could be a lot of thoughts and arguments out there. We'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments, but it's hard to argue that that is the new trend. Find you a head football coach that has big ties to the NFL. Get him on your campus and get him to sign that contract. In the last 16 months, the landscape in the SWAC has totally changed. Uh, it all got ignited with Deion Sanders at Jackson State. And folks, it just comes down to this being an arms race with branding, popularity, recruiting, not everyone makes the same choice. Southern University earlier this week stuck with a familiar face, bringing back Eric Dooley, who had a lot of history there at Southern University. But Grambling, one of those traditional programs in the SWAC, decided to, to go outside of the Grambling box this time around. And they bring in Hugh Jackson 
as their new head coach. It's the big news on a Friday as the swack, <laughs> as the swack turns, right? You never know what you're going to get, but it's always big news coming out of that conference. All right, we're reading your comments right now. This will be a big story to follow all weekend long and heading into the Celebration Bowl. There'll be a lot of reactions to come, and we'll bring it to you all right here on HBCU Game Day.